Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts and BergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at making cast flame resin knife handles. Now I know I've made a video on making flame knife handles in the past. Um, I'm just trying to improve my technique a little bit. Uh, these are done slightly differently um, and I, I really like the way they came out. Uh, actually a lot better. So I start out with the same resin that I've been using. This is a resin from TotalBoat.com. It's their thick set resin. It's a two-part resin. You mix uh, three parts of the resin, one part of the hardener. You mix it very slowly for about five minutes. Um, what's nice about this is it's so thin that you don't end up with, with many bubbles uh, in your casting. I then mixed in some colors. Um, I mixed in yellow, and I separated them into, into different containers, yellow, orange, and black. Now for this experiment, um, I really wanted the colors to, to kind of not merge with each other. So I let them sit in those containers for about six or seven hours before um, I put any of the resin into my knife handle molds. Uh, I may have waited a little bit too long. Uh, this is just, just an experiment, uh, but I waited until it became almost a paste. So I scooped out the yellow, then I scooped out uh, the orange, and my, my plan was also to incorporate the black at the other end and do this kind of as a, uh, you know, a single pour type of casting project. Uh, that, that is absolutely not how it worked out. Um, but I, I kind of went with the flow and the end results, um, I think, came out pretty cool anyway. So, so far, so smooth. I've got the yellow, I've got the orange in there. Um, when I tried to get the black in, it had hardened a little bit too much. Um, I don't know why the black hardened faster than the orange or the yellow, uh, but I just couldn't even get it, um, you know, into the mold. It just wouldn't even stick. But I had already mixed the yellow and the orange, so I kind of continued. The plan here was to use a stick and kind of push the yellow into the orange, kind of like flames. I would wipe off that, that stirring stick each time on a paper towel so that I didn't get too much orange uh, into the yellow. And of course you could do this with, with other colors. You know, I've been thinking about doing one in blues, I uh, just haven't gotten around to it yet. And what I'm trying to do here is, is to make kind of like the arms of flames, bringing that yellow or merging that yellow into the orange, yet I wanted I didn't want the yellow uh, to get absorbed into the orange. I wanted it to hold its own color. Uh, I've, I've now transferred to the back end of a, of a paintbrush and I'm just trying to drag some of the surface yellow into that same pattern, uh, that deeper pattern that I had done with the stirring st stick. I then let that sit in the mold uh, for about three or four days before I demolded it. And then I, I used a um, black magic marker, this is just a, a permanent marker, uh, to draw out the flames. What I'm really doing here is combining um, the technique that I used last time, uh, now with merging these two different colors by letting them kind of harden up uh, before I put them together. I then went to a pincer and I cut out the, the shape of those flames. It's a very simple process. You just take your time. Pinso really did a nice job. Before I went any further, I cleaned off uh, any of the residual uh, marker. I just did that with a little alcohol wipe. And during one of the attempts at making these flames um, from the first video, I realized that the inside cut edge, you see all that, that white on that edge? That kind of really ruins the final product, um, you know, unless you get rid of it. So really advisable. I used a Dremel grinder with a small bit just to clean that up. You could also clean it up with uh, some sandpaper. Uh, either way, once it's cleaned up, then, then spray it down with some um, rubbing alcohol and let that dry completely uh, before you continue with the casting. So now is the combination. So I've taken that, those flames, uh, which I've cut out. I put them back into the knife handle mold. I weighted them down a little bit so they, uh, the resin wouldn't go underneath uh, those flames. And then I mixed up some black resin with the same Total Boat thick set epoxy and I poured that in. Now I didn't want the black 
to flow over the top of the flames. I wanted those flames to be to stand a little bit proud or a little bit above above the black resin. So I very carefully added resin until I had enough black in there to cover all areas. Then I let that dry for a couple of days and then I went back and mixed another batch of the Total Boat Thick Set resin and this one is just clear and I put a clear coating right over the top and then I let that uh, rest uh, or I left it alone for about three days before I demolded it. So this is a pretty simple project but it does take quite a while just because of the different drying times or the length of the drying times. So these are the finished knife handles or knife scales. I am very happy with the way they came out. Um, you know, I'm kind of eager now to try it with some different colors. I'd love to hear some, some feedback. Uh, if anybody else has some experience that they could, um, you know, give me some insight into doing this a different way, I would love to hear that as well. Um, I hope that you will leave some feedback on the video. Um, and certainly, I would ask you to give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, I'd also like to give you an invite to join us on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. Uh, you can post pictures of your own creations. And if you are interested in making your own knives, check out the book that Jason Northgard and I put out about a year and a half ago called Introduction to Knife Making, and that can be found on Amazon.com. Thank you very much.